There are already tiny drones on the market, such as the AR Drone 2.0 from Parrot, featured prominently at CES. In 2015, the FAA will begin allowing personal and commercial use of unmanned aerial vehicles up to an altitude of 400 feet, and they'll probably integrate nicely with your Apple or Android device. Uh, you can think about things like health and fitness, which are built around smartphones and, and tablets, using those devices as the interface layer. Uh, and personal drones would fit right into that category. You control them with your smartphone or a tablet. You've built sensors into them. And there's no reason you couldn't start to use those for a you know, variety of uh, different things. For now, drone use is restricted to military and law enforcement use, such as the Puma AE and Wasp AE, developed by California-based AeroVironment. But the implications of personal drone use are staggering. FedEx has long expressed interest in the cost savings of unmanned aircraft, and uses from agricultural to recreational are many. I'm excited. Everything from the implications for better security, right through to uh, if you're an extreme sportsman, uh, having your drone taking pictures of you skiing off the cliff. And so I think that's a really cool use of technology. Of course, you have FedEx and UPS also looking at ways to simplify delivery. David says we may one day also see drone type technology in self-driving vehicles. Think of UPS or FedEx driverless deliveries. Until then, you may have to settle for footage shot from your personal drone of yourself in Google's self-driving car. Fascinating technology, but still a few years out. Reporting from Las Vegas for Investor Beat, I'm Rex Moore of The Motley Fool.